In this problem, we have a cubical shaped object floating on water. So for the first time, I'm drawing the picture in such a manner that I show the 3D diagram, okay? So I have a cubical shaped object with me. Each of the sides of the cube is equal to A. But there is an interesting thing over here. See, this cubical shaped object is not a solid object. It's empty inside. So if you pour something inside it, it would settle inside, okay? So basically, if you look from one of the sides, this container would look something like this. Okay? It's a empty container, open at the top, and you can pour something inside it. But the 3D picture of the container is something like this. It's in the shape of a cube, where each of the sides have a length of A. So that means this side is A, this side is A. Some more information is also given. That is, the mass of this object is, let's say, equal to M and density of water is equal to rho W. Now what is done is, there is a tank, okay, large tank containing water inside it. Okay, and this object is placed into water. What would happen? This object may float on this particular liquid or on this water, or it can immerse into this liquid, right? What is observed is, if this object is placed into the water, it floats in this kind of a manner, okay? So what you have to do is, first, you have to find out what is the length of the container, let's say equal to x, which gets into water and what portion of the container is outside it. I hope you are clear with the problem. See, the entire length of the container is equal to a and some portion of the container gets into the liquid. Okay, let's call this height as x. You have to first of all find what is x. This is actually a very, very simple problem and you should be able to solve it in just one or two lines. But let me complicate the problem a little bit more. This is the first part of the problem. And the second part of the problem is something like this. Let's say there is a hole which develops on the bottom of this container. As a result, the liquid starts entering into this container. So slowly, the liquid would start entering the container and fill up the container from the bottom, something like this, okay? So let me draw the picture once again. The container is getting filled with water, like this. At the same time, what would happen is, this object would start sinking. As more and water gets into the container, the container would get start sinking and a time would come when water would start entering the container from the sides as well. I'm not explaining at what time or when water would start entering, that you have to think out. But let me once again explain the second part of the problem. See, there is a hole which develops within this container and as a result, water or this liquid starts entering the container from the bottom. So as a result, water or liquid would start filling up the container like this. So do you think the container would stay at its initial position when water starts entering? No. Because of change in bowel force, because of change in weight, whatever, this container would start sinking. And the time would come when water or this liquid would also start entering the container from the sides. What you have to do is, you have to find out the proportion 
of volume of the container which is filled up with water from the bottom when water also starts entering from the sides. Let me once again repeat the final question. You have to find out the proportion of this volume of water which has filled up this container from the bottom when water also starts entering the container from the sides. Try these problems out. We would be solving the first part of the problem in the follow-up video and then we would be solving the second part of the problem. Let me give you one other information with this problem that is the thickness of this object or container whatever you call is very very small as compared to its other dimension. So try this problem out if you are not able to solve the problem get into the solution in the follow-up video. Thank you.